Hey everybody, welcome to some more advanced lyricism. And today we're going to learn <clears throat> basically this stuff right here. notes so um, first thing um, is about uh, it's called the vowel lock I guess you could say or you could even say the vowel bit you know I think the word bit is the number one that has been you know probably the most used um, how to understand and gauge it is that people make their own word for example down to Spokane is not correctable for me. I have my own intellectual property. When someone says Spokane, it's the wrong one. You know, I won't let you tell me that. That's what this lock is for. It's for intellectual property. Um, using spelling and closed eyes recognition, you know, or basically, you know, like, if it's not this, you know, it's not for me. You know, no. You know, I would probably tell you. So anyway, let's just use the word bit, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So see here, you know, we have, let me try to read it backwards, bit, bat, bot, butt, bite, and uh, bet. Um, how this works is um, there is uh, basically a parallel here. It's pretty easy to notice because we have, you know, two butts, you know, two, two butt cheeks, you know, one butt here, one butt here. We got one here with our butt cheek and another butt cheek here. You know, we also have, you know, one tit, one tit, one ball, one ball, one ovary, one ovary. You know, and um, we have a thing in the middle. And if that's not working, you know, something you know, is not going on. You know, something is not hitting a boundary. You know, that means that when you look at light and you close your eyes, you know, you can't have too much residue. You know, it'll be still purple on your eyes. You got to be able to, like, look at something dark and close your eyes and be able to actually make purple out of it, too. Not just the light parts. That's like a bunch of period everywhere, you know, or a bunch of semen everywhere. So here's what we're talking about here. <clears throat> when I say the word bit in this instance, I also have to have, you know, two leans. One has to be another lean, you know, something to knock me off balance. If I'm standing up like this, and I stand like this sideways, and literally can, like if you took a 3D image of me and I'm like standing this way, like I'm standing like this, and then I'm standing exactly like that. It's really hard to stand that way. And also to bend off, you know, it would also be facing this way. And um, <clears throat> the point is, is that you want to be standing straight. The point is, is when, you know, someone talks to you and they're going like this or this, and they kind of like this, or like, what you going to do, what you going to do, what you going to do, and then it says, I'm a swimming fish, you know, because the face looks like a fish, you know, finding Nemo, finding Nemo, finding Nemo, you know, I mean, just the way they go, you know, mm, fish food, you know, that's what happens to you, and you'll eat the piece of dandruff if, um, you know, you get these off, but um, I guess I would say, you know, the next word would be bat, and then I could put bot on the other side. Or I could put bet on the other side would be fine. You know, because it's the last one in my uh, little chamber. Like having a little uh, Russian roulette chamber, you know, and one of them would have to have a bullet. You know, it has to have a way for there to be something happen at some point. You know, it doesn't mean it's suicide. You know, so here we have... You know, you... Um... Every word muttered in sex has to do this too. Here we have, you know, on the bit, you know, bat and bet. 
Now, what you have to do is you have to pick um, something preferable in the choice. You're like, would you rather do this or would you rather do this if it's not this? You know, like if you're like, okay, um, would you rather have, you know, this rotten milk over here or would you rather have the good milk over there? Or would you rather drink this old water? You know, I'll give you some examples. I mean, you know, we could just use this. You know, old sour milk that has just been sitting there for the reason for me to look at it. And then we have, you know, this thing, which is empty, has maybe a little bit of water. You know, and then we also have. You know, probably just looking at the greatness of how this could clean something. Oxygen orange. This is definitely drinking milk. It's good, you know, compared to sour milk and nothing in that. You know, because it's a it's the good choice. It's like saying, like, if I say the word bit, you know, then <clears throat> if I clean something with this oxygen orange, or just spray it to smell the freshness of the oxygen orange, I can see how it smells good because it looks good when I still think about how it looks with the color and how I could have drank that great vitamin D milk, you know, that can help me as a supplementary and see if I'm going to open this and smell it, you know, I know that it smells bad because that's going to be me in the future. You know, if I don't understand, you know, how bad some rotten milk can smell compared to feet smell good you know and there is a difference you know a lot of things you know people say the word foot and then in the spelling when I look at the spelling you know they'll put F-A-A-T and they'll be like I want to see your foot and it'll be spelled F-A-A-T you know so it'd be like I want to see your fat and then it becomes the word F-A-T because they can't even spell it right that's somebody drinking this crap right here somebody having a baby or an abortion or getting old. That's something that can actually be contained. This is a thing that can be contained. Oh, it can. That's all I needed was verification. I just didn't want to bore percussion all over you. You know. Okay, and then we have, you know, this little empty bit here. And if you go after either one of these, you won't get your vowel. You know, because for one, you know, um, BT. If you say beep, or if you say bit, and it sounds like a like, like a little punch, you're like bit. You know. <clears throat> also, look at Gandalf. Look at these little bags under your eyes. You know, it's like you could take a little toothpick and just poke it. You could just like open this up. You know, just imagine somebody who walks like Donald Trump and has those little tiny little two pick walking feet sometimes. And every time I see some old person with that bag and he's got that toothpick, it's like, are you seriously going to have those huge Gandalf bags under your eyes because you want bat or bet? You know, and what you want is bit. You know, I said, say the word bit, understand the word bit, let the word bit pass through you. <clears throat> and, um, you know, is a fail-safe mechanism. It, it's, you know, it's technology, you know, but, you, you know, it's, it, it just works. It's how I wrote, you know, Eminem's song in reverse. You know, believe. You play it backwards, it says clove for a time. That's because I know that my character cloak that I made, you know, my planet, my, you know, my higher self, stronger self, or the same, or weaker sometimes maybe, no. You know, I had K-L-A-V-E, K-L-O-V-E, K-L-U-V-E, K-L-I-V-E, K-L-Y-V-E, K-L-U, wait. And see, when it says you wait, and then you forget something on those two pockets, boom, one bag, boom, one bag, one patch, garbage, you know, and just, you know, A-O-U-I-Y-E, 
And then that's just one lock. But that's all I need. You know, those are those are six choices, and I'm only going to be able to pick one. You know, and I, I take all the trash. You know, that doesn't go to the. It opens up the hole, of course, of the information. Your blood vessel, mine. You know that it passes through. You know, it, you know, goes from one area, stops, and waits. And then when it's finished, you know, it continues. You know. So anyway, um, you'll be catching these BTs. You know, on the ends of this after bit. You know, BT, 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 BT. You know. So basically what I mean is, you know, when I say the word bit, it gives you five BTs and it, it, it's on the SPM video. Um, I forgot what it was, but it's a new video that he came out with and a guy impersonated him and like his girl saying, you know, scars or something like that. I forgot what the song was. It's from 2014, I think, or 15 or 16. It's somewhere in there. But his song was perfect because he says, I can't take it no more. And the way he said it was because if you keep saying bit in your Spanish, then you go bit, 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 bit. And it, it sounds like a zipper, you know, when it gets stuck. You know, because the zipper is designed like the word bit is. You know, so it sounds like BT is like shooting an extra, you know, BB if you wanted one, you know, and stuff like that. You get all that junk out, you know, you realize how things, you know, flow or don't. And the next thing we're going over here is um, how bad uh, English is in all of the languages. And that, you know, I'd like to come up with another language. But let's just go ahead and start with this part. And that people aren't using this and it causes the age. You know, we still have the shadow and the three choices and, you know, the three balances. And with those balance beams being off, I mean, if you can... If you can stay balanced that whole time, you know, you will eventually find a way to try to go this way or that way, you know, so you can open up. There's always going to be different things in vessels. When you have absolutely six choices, you have to at least pick one of those choices, you know, and that's just to help you find your way around the obstacle. I mean, if you said, you know, when I said it, it was bot, you know, there's really not a reason to do that, not. If it helps open up something, you're like, well, I thought it was bot, but I knew it was bit. That's where we have that little forgetting marker. So, um, here's another one that's pretty good. When you're saying, you know, pot and then pot, and then you'll say tuft. And then you'll say trough, and then you'll say coffee, and then toffee. See how long that stretch is? Some idiot's like, <laughs> you know, and just all that junk. And it's just like Hercules, you know. I mean, it's just ridiculously useless, you know, to even try to go against it, you know, for sure. Um, but, you know, saying coffee and then toffee and then your thirst will want to eat. You know, um, you can see how this is kind of um, pulling kind of hard when I'm speaking, you know, because all I'm seeing, you know, is a person who is like a representative of me who would actually have been reading, you know, the sentences wrong the whole time, doesn't know how to spell correctly. You know, they'll think that it says, you know, T H A O. G H T T A Y G H T T A F T T R A O G H. And I think that's good enough. Um, but it's just, you know, if I say coffee and then toffee, you know, if you're thirsty, what want to so you want to eat you want to drink some coffee before you have toffee. You know, I think saying toffee would be that tough of a stress when I first said that. And it gives you extra GHs when you see the word tot, you know, and someone says tot, you know, T-O-T, -T, and it doesn't fit, you know. 
But those GHs are caught, and it's in this little part right here with your nose, and it'll twitch right here. And it goes, Gubbin. you know, or it'll say, Guh. you know, it'll be like GH right here. Or it'll be like, um, you know, BN, like Ibn. That's, that's where that's at right there when it, when it does that. I'll, I'll show you that in the next video I'm going to do. And it's, it's basically just how to do it yourself, you know, how to power up your power levels, you know. But, um, yeah, um, I put cuffed with T-U-F-T because T-O-U-G-H-T is kind of a, uh, kind of like something that could be skipped, you know. And I just thought that would be the most common lock there. And I'm sure if you unlock whatever the hell that is, it'll be something to learn. Or maybe it's just what I said. I don't know. But there has to be three different ways. And it's easy to understand because <clears throat> we have a right hand and a left hand. We also have a girl and a guy. When I'm right-handed and I'm just writing with the right hand, it might as well be cursive. That means that basically my hand is a dick. It's just writing and whoo, I can have a big pen and turn it around, you know, and it's going to unload, you know. And, um, you know, I mean, just with the pen, you know, it, it'll go into this one that cannot write, you know. Actually can, if you actually learn how to do this properly with your body and practice it. it. And, um, anyway... Um, I can write just as good with my left hand as I can with my right, you know, and, uh, yes, you know, the only error I've ever had, if someone thought that I was like, you know, retarded or something, or, you know, had a problem, you know, it's just that some guy had feet that smelled so bad, they were like eight days old, and he can't read a lick of the language. And thinks that I'm I could just not choose or choose to spell it in here when I'm saying like hi it could be H O or you know H A you know instead of H I you know but it has to be said you know and I, I just wouldn't want to smell some guy's foot from eight days of just not washing his feet you know some old dude or some old chick you know or whatever but there's got to be a thing that says, okay, this is the wrong way. This is not, not that good. But at least you can, like, kind of wait for me and, you know, then I can kind of build up what I need to do with that vowel. And then, you know, on the other side, you know, I can build up and wait on the other one, too. You know, and then when both of those are finished, then I can ejaculate, you know. And, uh, you know, that's the basics of learning how to be a super saiyan if you really could and can. You gotta poop that way, you gotta spit that way, you gotta pee that way, you gotta hear that way, you gotta blow your nose that way, you gotta, you know, use your eyes that way. <laughs> you know, you don't want to have it where I'm like, <laughs> you know, and there's no sex going on too. You know, that's not right. You know, it's got to be some kind of bounce. You know, I don't want to be, you know, looking like Snoop Dogg a couple years ago when he was like, Snoop Lion, and he looks like a toothpick with a sock on it, and you can just, like, watch him smoke, and his mouth is, like, a dry piece of wood, you know? I mean, he looks different now, but I was just saying, he looked like a dry, you know, Rastafarian, you know, I, you know, that, that, that is that point. So, um, yeah, what else was I saying here? I think that's about it, but, uh, yeah, you also have, you know, your left and right foot, and when sex happens, which is your body communicating with itself, you know, um, you know, you have eating to have it with, you have breathing to have it with, you have hearing to have it with, you have pooping to have it with, you also have hearing with your butt to have it with. You know, because, I mean, you could put a pill in your butt and it would feel, you know, it, w it would probably absorb more information, it says, 
You know, if you put a pill in there, it'll get you higher, it says. But I'm sure if you were used to it and knew how to use it, I'm sure you could put a food up your butt and eat it. And, you know, for those professionals out there, I bet if you were on a space station, I bet you could probably, if you were skillful enough, put food in your butt and somehow puke it out of your mouth. I bet it's possible. <laughs> I'm for real. And, um, you know, but, I mean, to really have it, I mean, it is bondage. I mean, you have to have your foot over here, this foot over here. This hand over here, this part over here, and then what's left? Your head. And then you have your butt, or just the touching area down here. I mean, it's just a wide general area. You know, and I mean, just to have, you know, one vowel, two vowel, three vowel, four vowel. What do I do with five and six vowel? Just close it up or what? You know, probably, you know, have like six vowel. And then have the seventh vowel, you know? Because, I mean, some people have AIDS. Some people have herpes. You know, and see if somebody, you know, has you on all these vowels and you're talking to somebody who's either has it or doesn't, and you can't see whether they have it or don't, you have to be able to ask them in spelling. You're like, all right, is it BIT or BT? Or is it, you know, BAT or BET? You know, or is it bot or butt or, you know, bite? You know, but it have to be right on it. You know, I said that it would be bit, B-I-T, you know, if I would be in my safe word. But if it becomes B-T at all, I know that it will not hit right. I'll have to wait and find another way to get my B-I-T out. You know, but that's how you stop that from happening. You know, putting a bunch of like, I mean, if I could just make a snowman of a person and just pile snow on it, you know, one way to do it is, um, you know, when someone says B A T or B E T or B U T or B O T or, you know, B Y T, in the middle, B I T, um, they get it wrong or right doesn't really matter but there has to be um, a loud noise it's like a baby and it'll go like it makes sounds like that it sounds like a little bit of some like puke coming up or just some words like you know a little bit of like go go, which is always sex you know and I don't know why y'all would like, not understand that those little sounds coming out can be completely compressed out of it. You know, just like if you had a worm and it's got dirt in it and it was a, it was like a straw. And you could just take that one piece and squeeze it all the way out and, you know, you could get some water and, you know, you know, just take the water and put it through the tube. You know, through the tube. You know, and once it's finished, you know... Once it's done, you know, then it will go through the tube. It would be completely clean. There would be nothing in there except for information trying to go through it to cipher. Cipher, 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 cipher. It's not mustache. Einstein, 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 Einstein. You get what I'm saying? And the dancing happens and it starts to turn back into the right one. You know, it's got to go the right way. You don't, you don't want it to be all mushy and big. When I see something getting big and happening, you know, I know I'm doing good or bad. Or bad or good or bud, you know, or bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I think that's about it for that. Uh, Let me just look at this a little bit more and see if there's just a little bit extra here that I didn't tell you. Um, yeah, here we go. There's a little bit more for pukers out there.
you know, and when you say like a short word and you skip something, you'd be like, hi, means height. You'd be like, how, what's the height? You don't want to go, hi, and someone will ask you, they were like, what did you say? And then you'll say like, H E I, you know? That's a problem. I mean, you should be able to actually say what it is. I mean, if it's H-E-I, yeah, you have to spell it out. But if you're like in this uh, section here, you know, where I'm speaking, you know, I, I want to say like H-E-I-G-H-T, but I spelled it H-E-I. Leave out the G-H so, you know, somebody won't have like a really ugly looking like nose. You know, that's just like really, really like ugly looking <laughs> That's what I was talking about, is that, you know, when you use those little words like that, you know, it's not just baby talk, you know, it's actually very advanced and, you know, very particular. You know, and that's where, you know, we have our coddles, burps, and crunches. You know, and that's like, ah, and, and, ah. And that's the sounds that should already have been picked up. They should be having sex there. And they shouldn't have, you know, an uncensored. And this is what you need to tell people. You know, with, you know, still having, you know, Jesus having sex with your kid and fucking it. Because that's what the building was for. He has a penis. He's going to get big. You know, and there's really no reason to even, even just sit there and cut off everything. When I told you already that trough is the last word. When you see some a human being eating at a trough, I'm the one who will go. And want to go find a pig star with a trough and to eat from that trough is me eating from the trough. Even if there was a pig there that wanted to be me and ate from the trough, I would still want to be the pig and eat there too. From the trough, but I mean, if that was my last word, that's like having a bunch of real ground up corn. And like, if you just couldn't look at corn, because you're looking at barn and pern and pern and pyron. And pern, or parn, or pern, or whatever these are, you know, they can all change into different things, of course. But the thing is, is that if trough is not porn, you're not going to be able to have it. Everything has to be porn. You can't leave one thing out. You can't say porn. Let's just hear that conversation where I said the corner and have some hummus. You know, that's what it used to be like. Undor. You know, and you have to know, man. You have to be able to you know, kind of navigate your own channels so people know which one was the good one, too. There's a lot you can do with it. You can say that I spelled this this way. You know, you could be like, the word sheep, be shoop. You know, because it's an easier way to basketball a hoop. But first, you would say sheep. You know, that's the rule. You wanted to say sheep and then shoop. You would see the shoop first, silent, and then you would hear the sheep next. You know, so you're like, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna play some basketball with my, you know, shoop. You know, and then the word, you know, sheep. Or I could put another one in front of it. I could say, you know, shoop and sheep. I could put shap. It could be a way somebody has sex, of course. It just kind of says a word. Or just another way to sneeze. But it could be something else besides a way to sneeze. That's like I didn't put anything there for it to be. you got to have a meaning for each one. you got to be able to have a place for it to get into. And it's like making a bunch of little choice tunnels. I mean, yeah, one will lead to what you want it to be. But, I mean, if there's something else urgent, you know, people need to go to each one. And every rap is made like that. But people need to know that there's not supposed to be one guy that can just do it. And then nobody else can just because I figured it out. You know, you figured it out. And I shouldn't be able to just take it from you. You know, you know, I shouldn't be able to give it from you either. You know, you should be able to know this. It needs to be expanded upon, you know, things like this, you know. And, um, yeah, and then we also have, you know, the middle part obviously is where the channel is. You know, if you have a vein that is like this, you know, and it is a channel, you know, you don't have, you know, like 
no side on this side and no side on this side. Picking. You know, I always pick something I don't like, you know, when a word comes up. And I know I can spot it. I'm like, don't be like that if it's something that I'm calling out, even if it's not really something that it is that can be called out because it would be the last thing it would pick up. And when you offend someone and they look bad, though, you know, like if you're like, Stephen Hawkins is the best hot guy I've ever seen. You know, that's not going to help his looks. You know, because, I mean, his name could be, you know, Stowe Pond. Hawk. Ong. You know, and just some hot chick could say it. And I can watch Super Saiyans with hot chicks that look good. And that's what I would use his name for. I don't want to sit there and stare at somebody, you know, that looks ugly as possible. Stare at somebody. You know, it could be store it. Same baby. You know, but you got to be able to go through those little channels. It's like having like a bunch of little like bee larvas. You know, and you could just see it how, you know, they have those little holes inside. That's what it is. <laughs> you know, I mean... <laughs> You know, it's just that I'd rather have, you know, clear honeycombs so the queen doesn't have to get pregnant. Maybe she'll live longer instead of just cut her life short and then just go have the nest then, you know. But my life is not that sexually charged and limited, you know, and I have more I can discover, which a bee cannot. For now, how would I figure it out? Does that mean that people, like, can smell a bee would smell a bee differently if it was spelled B-O-O -O, and also smell it differently if it was spelled B-E-E. -E. Why would this be B-E-E? -E? It would not. It would be B-A-A -A or B-Y-Y -Y or B... You know, little, little secret clave. I mean, you just have to come up with something here. That's what I mean, you know, B, boo, you know, boo-oo. You know, B-U-U, -U. you know, you could say, well, what about upside down? You know, you can still get a B, B-E-E, -E. B-A-A, B-E-E, -E. you know, B-A-A -A upside down is B-E-E. -E. You know, it has to have the little flips in it. But the point is, is to get people's circulation better. You know, it's like, how am I going to have a better way to go somewhere if I have absolutely nothing to do here? <laughs>